Hey guys, I wanted to create this short video to show you how to get SMS registered on Grasshopper. If you're using the phone system and you're having problems getting registered over here and you've lost uh, the ability to send SMS messages, I want this to be your one-stop shop video. We're going to tackle the entire thing here. All you're going to need is Grasshopper, obviously, and then we're going to use ChatGPT to make some fixes here. But if you're seeing this message, uh, just click on register now. We're going to head on over to the compliance section here. You're going to go down to the SMS registration. So the brand registration is super easy. You're registering the brand. It This has nothing to do with the messages that you're going to send. So there's really nothing like legally binding here. It gets into a gray area. This is basically like an A2P submission. This gets into a gray area here because you need to be legally compliant to be able to send the SMS messages. From my understanding, Grasshopper should be creating these messages for you. However, they don't want to take on the legality of that. Um, and I'm pretty sure everyone who's using Grasshopper is pretty much a, a business owner, an entrepreneur, um, like a local service business. Like they really should be helping you guys out more with this. Um, and it's kind of a shame. But regardless, we'll come inside of here, inside of compliance, and then just go all the way down to the bottom. If you've already filled everything out, that's totally fine. Just come all the way down and click on validate and submit. Oops, I've reviewed. Yep. Click on validate and submit. What it's basically going to do right now, it's going to analyze everything that you've already put in. Then it's going to tell us in red what's what the problems are. Then we'll use ChatGPT to kind of clean it up here. Okay, so this is what I'll do. I'll copy all of this information. Actually, I'll just take a screenshot here. Um, and basically what this is telling us is the confidence on getting approved is quite low. So we do want to clean this stuff up. Uh, so I'm just uploading this picture, basically, that everything was declined. Here's pretty much the reasons why. And then what we can do here, uh, we want to edit the form. As I have this tool called Go Full Page. This is what it looks like on Google Chrome. You can add it to your Google Chrome. I highly recommend using it. You'll probably use it for a lot more in your business than just this. But I'm just going to screenshot this entire page. So that way I can upload this back to ChatGPT and have it make all of the fixes that I absolutely needed to make in order to be able to be compliant here. So go back to ChatGPT, upload from my computer, go to the downloads. Here's my screen capture. Please be detailed in every box that I need to edit and reshare to be compliant. It's kind of what came to the top of my head here, but I think that that kind of makes enough sense. Yeah, there's several fields based on the rejection reason. Okay. I need to give it our phone number as well here, just so it has it. Because I don't want to have to f fill out all this stuff as well. Okay, so submit the phone number. Let me just get this kind of information here. So I've tracked this down. We have the phone number here and then we have the opt-in page here. One thing I didn't mention that you guys definitely will need is you need an opt-in page that has this exact text. If you can copy and paste this page, just go to this website right here. We built this entire website actually um, and built out this request to quote, quote page slash contact page. Basically, it's just a way to be legally compliant um, for people to sign up for your messages. One thing to note is in the phone number, uh, this red, uh, this red like asterisk right here means it's required. You cannot have that on the phone number. It will not be compliant. Then you must have the same exact text down here. You must have your business name inside of here. You must have your phone number. You have to have all of this stuff. So just copy and paste this and make it original to you. Uh, and then you need the yes or the no. Then you also need this line, see our privacy policy in our terms page. If you click on this page on the privacy policy, or if you click in terms of service, you can also copy and paste this. However, you can also just go back to um, to Grasshopper and then follow or copy and paste everything that you need from them to be compliant and then ask ChatGPT to make a terms and service page. Just include your uh, business name, your address, your phone number, your email, and then a link to your privacy policy page. You can do the exact same thing for privacy policy page inside of um, uh, ChatGPT as well. So it should be able to write out all the pages for you. You just need to kind of have it interlinked there. Um, and then, yeah, cool. Okay, so let me just come back here. 
And I'm going to go through all of this stuff now. And I'm going to just pop all this information back in here. So I'm going to copy this. So it's like um, final edits, campaign description. Campaign description. Okay, so here it is. Clients opt in. Contact us. Update to this page. I'm just doing... Ah, oh, cool. That's in there. That's correct. Privacy policy. Yeah, this should be correct as well. It's terms and condition. It says missing information in terms and condition. Describe the types of messages users will see. Okay, cool. So you guys will get to see exactly what I'm going to do here. So can copy, paste, get rid of this information here. This will be the terms of service. Update this to include this. And then I'll, of course, include the phone number here. All right, while this is updating, I'm going to log into the back end of their website to be able to update this page for them. One more thing I'm going to do just to kind of help this entire situation is I'm going to include some evidence here. So on side of the contact page, which is our, this is actually a burner contact page, meaning that this is not the real contact page. The real contact page is here. That's totally fine. We built this page. It's just a very, very simple form specifically for the compliance. That's the best way to look at it. You don't need to make all the edits to your normal contact page, but I basically just take a screenshot here and then I'm uploading that here as evidence. So even if they don't look um, at the actual page itself, at least they're getting um, information here. Very important in your opt-in message that you have where the messages are coming from, you have to have frequency listed in here. You should pretty much just copy and paste this, help, reply for help, reply, stop to cancel. Um, and this is looking pretty good now. This is much better. Uh, let's try and validate and submit this and see if it can read all of our new updates. We've also updated that privacy, or I'm sorry, the terms of service page as well. Okay, guys, just like that, we got the clear on everything. So um, I forgot to record the final part of here. But it basically said like the form or like your application looks good. It's not 100% going to be accepted necessarily. It still needs to be reviewed. And from my personal experience, it can take anywhere between three days to literally three weeks to get accepted. I'm assuming that might be on the longer side right now just because there's so many people that are trying to get accepted. At any point in time, you can push through. Um, but, re but realistically, just go through the SMS compliance hover over here and then use chat GPT to kind of to create exactly what you need to put into here. One thing I would say though, is up here, make sure you click on the actual things that you need to do before you edit your terms of service page. Um, because chat GPT will be able to write this up, but every time you click on one of these, you need to create an uh, example message for each of those. So if you hover over here, it'll pretty much show you what you need to do for that. Just take a screenshot of that, upload it to ChatGPT, and it will spit out everything that is compliant um, that you need. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys found this super helpful. I know it can be really uh, annoying, and Grasshopper honestly sucks for not just doing this for you. If you guys are looking for a marketing agency at any point in time, just head on over to RagingAgency.com. That's my agency. We do all this stuff for our clientele, but I wanted to help you guys out because I've just heard so many things about people struggling to get um, texting back going on Grasshopper. So I wanted to help out here. But yeah, if you guys appreciate this video, just leave a thumbs up. If you have any comments, just leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.